Our adventure this week takes us back to Little Corn Island, which is located 50 miles off the coast of Nicaragua in the Caribbean Sea. We flew into Managua and then hopped on a smaller La Castaña plane to fly us to Big Corn Island. The flight to Big Corn is very scenic as you pass over farmlands and rural coastal communities. Big Corn Island is surrounded by warm Caribbean waters and full of sandy coastal beaches. The airstrip on Big Corn is small but perfect for the smaller planes. Once on the ground, we found our luggage and headed for the nearest cab, which would take us to the boat dock. We found the signs to Hotel Iguana and boarded the first panga going to Little Corn Island. We arrived at Casa Iguana completely soaked, but dried off quickly in this tropical sun. We were greeted by our host, Grant and Kathy Peebles, and quickly made ourselves at home in the beautiful lodge. Casa Iguana has a spacious main lodge complete with kitchen, dining area, hammock, and outdoor deck with an awesome ocean view. The cabins have plenty of room for four people with two double beds, showers, bathroom, and sitting area. After we got settled in our cabins, we took a walk and went for a quick tour of the island. The native people on the island were very polite and friendly. The people on Little Corn Island worked hard in the day catching lobster and fish and then relaxed later by dancing the night away. The small village only has two so-called restaurants, but if you want an authentic island meal, this is where you go to get them. We walked back to Casa Iguana and prepared our rods and reels for our upcoming fly fishing adventure. The island has many different types of fish, but we were after bonefish and barracuda. We started by walking the beaches for bonefish and then moved to deeper waters to locate larger schools of bones. As the day progressed, we decided to target barracuda by trolling outside the large reef. The barracuda here can reach up to 50 pounds and since we were having barracuda for dinner, the pressure was on to catch one. Barracuda on the fly, that's today as we take you sport fishing on the fly. Well, another beautiful day in paradise. And today, barracuda? That's right. Excellent. So we've heard a lot of things about fishing for barracuda. You know, there's different methods to do it. Some are easier than others. What are they? Okay, well, there's two ways basically to fish for barracuda. And uh, if you want to purely fly cast to them, they're very difficult to catch. Uh, you cruise around on the flats and look for them. Uh, you'll see them standing out against the white sandy shoals. And uh, you cast the fly about three or four feet away from them, and then you double hand strip. Uh, if you single hand strip, you won't move the fly fast enough. But if you move it with a double hand strip, uh, sometimes you can get them to take it. Uh, okay. They'll tend to follow it all the way to the boat and then veer off when they see oh, the boat. Man. They're very, very frustrating. But uh, if you get them in a good feeding frenzy, you can pick up uh, a lot of barracuda that way. Okay. The other way is to go out uh, outside the reef and uh, motor mooch for them with, a, uh, with the same fly, but uh, get most of your fly line out and just get it in the prop wash, just like bucktailing for coho. Okay. And that way, uh, in a slow troll, you can uh, get them to follow for a long while, and then they'll strike it when they, when they feel like it's getting away. Excellent. So the first thing probably is we'll go out, go to the flats, see if we can spot some on the sand. That's the way I prefer to catch them, is, okay. is, to, uh, is to cast them and then, then uh, double hand strip. Uh, but sometimes, if you just can't spot them, uh, then the only way you're going to get barracuda is to go outside the reef and uh, drag the fly in the prop wash, and, uh, and that way you'll pick them up. I think the main thing here is let's get a couple of fish, see if we can show the folks what the barracuda are like, and it uh, doesn't matter how we catch them. Yeah, well, you'll get them there from about uh, 5 pounds to 50 pounds oh, around here. Oh, man. Uh, oh, it's coming towards us. Can't reel up fast enough. Oh, it's moving a little bit. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, real fast enough. Yeah, it's tough because you got a lot of line out there. Oh, you had tons of line out there. Wow, I was trying to get my backing all nice and tight. I don't know what it is. It feels like a little guppy or something. Give him another hit. 
I can ever get him tight, I will, but I can't get him tight. He's just coming right up. How's that arm of yours? Getting big, that's why these, it's better to have the large arbor. I took it off, I have the large arbor. You have cool. a large arbor, yeah. I got my sink going on that. Oh, sink. Yeah. So Steve, what would be a, an ideal recommended setup for what we're doing today going after Barracuda? Uh, well, you're fishing pretty light with an 8 weight rod. I, I would go with more with a 10 or even a 12 weight, uh, a sinking line and uh, the clear sinking line. And uh, about a 9 foot leader and of course wire is essential. <laughs> what you've got on today is a uh, 18 pound test braided uh, stainless steel wire that's nylon coated, a small swivel and of course a fly with a size 4 odd hook, a uh, big hook, a big fish and uh, a fly that looks like a little fish, you know, um, a 45 or a uh, uh, anchovy pattern. Oh yeah, well Don, you getting close to that one at all? Yeah, I'm getting there. It's only coming in. Where was that thing, down in Costa Rica? Yeah, had all my line out. <laughs> I don't teach you to do that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, well, we could go to commercial, come back after commercial, and he's still going to be reeling. Oh, you got that right. I can see the line way out there. Yeah, there is, still, you bet. There's a fish on there. You can't start up the engine, eh, and maybe go away from him so I can stop reeling. Come, come on, boy, reel, oh, reel. You can do it, you can do it. Focus, focus. <laughs> I can't believe it. Not, oh, I'm finally into my fly line. Yeah, there's a fish on there. A little slug of some kind. Oh, man. Wouldn't it be a drag now if you just peeled off all that line that you just pulled in? Well, kind of an interesting fish. <laughs> Way to go for the first one. Don's out. <laughs> the arm stows. I think I reeled up 200 yards. At least. That uh, without stopping. Like, let you know. Keep you on a, moving. Usually you get a break when the fish runs. He's fighting all right. He's got a little weight to him. I don't know what he is yet, but get the hook set in there real good. Well, I got a lot of line. Pardon? <laughs> he took out a lot of line. I had a lot of line out, you bet. I haven't seen him yet. Oh, something's back to nibbling for a while on it. He finally played with it enough. He finally got the set out. <laughs> I did. Well, he sure peeled off a lot of line initially when he first hooked up. But, uh, Sure different when you get outside the reef, got the natural reef on the east side of Little Corn Island. Get outside it like this and the waves, well you can see you rock and roll pretty good. Yeah, Eric. And we're gonna wait. How much line did you oh, have? I had a lot of line on, maybe too much. But uh, I can't see him yet. I don't know what he is. Well you can fish, we're fishing with these lighter lighter outfits, mainly because we're gonna probably eat the fish. Yeah, well, that's right. Yeah, we talked about that at the top of the show. This oh, he's fighting good. Well, it looks like... Uh, this is a dinner fish. <laughs> yeah, it's a dinner fish. I know. What does it a look like, Steve? Like Pompano? Jackfish, maybe? Looks like half a fish to me. Looks like what? Looks like half a fish to me. Oh, half a fish? <laughs> I think I think you had something small on it and a barracuda grabbed it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, when it went looks for like the run? Looks like it just went ahead. Oh, oh when it went there. for the run. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a tail. Unbelievable. Yeah, that it was, was a. It was fighting good at one time. That was a little yellow tail. I took your fly originally. Oh, oh, the barracuda oh has taken him completely in half. Oh, you know, the barracuda's out there. Just like a uh, scalpel. <laughs> <laughs> so that was when my line was screaming out. Obviously, yeah. the barracuda had it and then. Yeah. Well, you can see the it. power they have. Unbelievable. Wow. That is incredible. Gee, Steve, you should have left that on. <laughs> I left it on my fly. <laughs> Put a hook with it, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. not unusual to happen. Fish. Unreal. Just sheared that fish right in half. At least we know the cooter are there. Yeah, well, they're we'll out there.
Well, today in the technology, I want to talk about a couple items that if you're going to come to Little Corn Island, you're going to want to think about. Now, really, the first thing you should do is after you've decided to come to Little Corn Island is make a list because you're going to visualize about the things you're going to want to do. So write it down so at the last minute when you're packing, you're going to remember all the stuff you want to get. One thing to remember is your last leg of your journey to get here is on a boat and chances are some stuff could get wet. So having a good waterproof bag is important. Put your passport in, put your wallet in. And now some of the other items you're going to need when you're here. Start with, you want, well, we got some good Able products here. We've got hair and body shampoo. It's got skin moisturizer. You've got the sunblock, 15 and 25 SPF. Some other items, UV protection for your lips. A kerchief that you can put around to cover up the back or you can cover up the front, whatever you need it to be. Hat, book, because you're going to have lots of leisure time because when it gets dark here at 6 o'clock, it gets dark. Not a lot to do, but there is a village here. There's a little bit of nightlife. You might want to take that in. Snorkeling is excellent here. Make sure you bring yourself an underwater camera because of the coral reef. There's lots of really beautiful colored fish. What else do you need? You need polarized sunglasses, another must. Now these flats here are not the same as your traditional shallow flats, but you still get to see the fish flashing. If you don't have the polarized glasses, well, you're not going to be able to see them. And probably the last important item that you might want to bring with you is a pack like this Able Pack. It's good for putting the stuff in when you go out on the boat. You've got your leaders, you've got your tippet material, you put your flies in. Little pouches for everything, you can keep your sunscreen in it because you're going to want to make sure you're putting the sunscreen on all day long. And you know what's the best part about being a little corn island? is if you're not in front of the camera working, well, you get to sit in a hammock and relax. All right. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, oh, knuckle oh. buster, watch out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's way in your back, and this one looks like a nice one. I think we got a little bigger one this time. We oh, got in trouble with right. <laughs> well, I know we did too, is after Grant lost his first one, Steve decided, hey, I'm going to tie all the knots on here the right way that's supposed to be tied. No, not like the way we tied them up. <laughs> yeah. And now we're now we're hooking these fish up. We're catching them. This is our that out here. That rod up like a buffer. Oh, I'm real. Where oh, are you having to go, are you? <laughs> You're not going to risk standing, are you? Uh, no, I'm not going to be standing. Not yet. Not until we get on a little further. Well, you know what happened with mine? Mine was, uh, I don't know, 10, 12 pounds or whatever it was. We brought it in. As soon as we saw the boat, it went again. Yeah. Oh, just hang on and let it go. This one looks nice. Why? Well, yeah, I don't know. We'll see when we get here. You're, on the, <laughs> you're on the edge of that rod. That's an eight weight Scott. Awesome rod, but it, you're, like, you're, you're on the edge. On the edge. Come on, can you keep coming? We got fly line yet? You're in the fly line. In the fly line? Oh, you bet. What a blast. Coastal Barracuda. If you've never tried it, give Steve a call at Cassie Iguana here in Little Corn Island. <laughs> what a blast. It is a blast. <laughs> it's a different way. We said it was a different way to, to fish, and it is. And you know what? If, they, if the Barracuda aren't biting one day, they usually come on the next. And if they aren't on that day, just head in, catch yourself a ton of bull fish. You don't walk the flats, the whole deep, deeper flats. Not at all. I want to see this guy. I want to see how big he is. How big's that one back there, Steve? Uh, it looks to be about seven or eight pounds uh, there, Grant. And, uh, about the same size as the other one at Don Club. Ooh, he's thinking of going again. There he goes. <laughs> shaking his oh, head. What? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, shaking his head. What a blast. They look so neat in the water like that, too. Oh, and look at the, you know, you see the color of the... The water here is just so blue. Oh, did he get off? Yeah, he just threw the hook. He just threw the hook. <laughs> oh, well, we got one in. We kind of got to see him. Maybe got a good underwater shot of him, but got to feel him. That was the main thing. Took the huge run right away. That was excellent. <laughs> oh yeah, but this guy, I mean, he, he's zinging out. He's pulling good. Oh, this one's got some meat to him. I don't know what it is, but it's got some weight. You got to hope he didn't get smacked on too. Well, maybe it's a, uh, maybe it's the barracuda. 
Oh, maybe not. Maybe you just go. Oh, there he goes. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Let's plant that hook in there. We are using barbed hooks because when you're going after barracuda, they're for food. Oh, man. It's got some weight to him. I don't know what it is, but it's got some weight to it. You know, that's the neat thing about coming out, you know, above the uh, above the reef like this. Yep. Because you're after bigger fish. Like, uh, these barracuda can get up to 40 pounds. Oh, man. He's pulling. Pulling hard. Oh. Yeah, you get outside, you get the big rock and roller. Big fish. Yeah. Oh, there. I haven't seen him yet, though. Then again, he's way, he took me way back into the back. Into the back end? Yeah. Oh. oh just into your fly line. Now. Just into it. Good. Oh go. man! Keep that pressure on. Oh yeah. See, that's the big thing too. Is you got to keep pressure on these fish. Oh, here he goes again. Oh <laughs> man! And we are we're using eight weight rods. These could be a little. Uh, I'm pretty good. These could be a little under suited. Like Steve was saying, we're better using off ten and eleven weight rods. But uh, well, there's other ones with it too. There's another one right beside it. Oh yeah, there is too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there he goes. Whoa! You saw the boat. Oh, did he ever? That's my backing just at the right level. Because we are, we have 20, 20 pound test, or 25 pound test leader. Of course, we have our fluorocarbon leader on there. And how much do we have, Steve? How much did you put on the end? Or nine feet. But then again, if we ever get into a, your backing like that fish was, we only got 20 pound test backing yeah. on, and we should have more. Link. Yeah, the weakest link. And you found that out yesterday. <laughs> you had a beauty on it. It was tail walking on the surf, and, and Grant says, oh, oh, he's gone, right at the backing. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, geez, look at that. That is a nice barracuda. It is a nice sized barracuda. Not at all. Man, oh, man. Oh, that's a nice fish. What a fight. What a fight. The nice thing is these boats are, this boat that we're in is so well balanced. It's a big flat bottom boat, weighs a ton. You just do not move in this boat. It's excellent out in these waters. Oh man, he is just pushing hard. I think I got him in, Steve. I think you got this I one. I think he's ready to go. Here we go. Oh, man. What's that? There we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh unbelievable. <laughs> is that a prehistoric looking fish or what? Look at, the teeth on Look at that thing. How much does that weigh? Oh, uh, that one's about eight or nine pounds. Eight or nine pounds. So one of the babies, one of the small ones. One of the babies. But hey, that's a good start. What the heck? That's all. Oh, that's beautiful. So what are we, uh, <laughs> what are we going to do with it? Well, we're going to club it on the head, okay. and put it in the hole, and we're going to have uh, barracuda steaks tonight. And you know what? We've had the best lunches in the world here at Casa Iguana. We've had barracuda sandwiches. If you've never had them, A1. All right, Steve, thanks again. Hey, welcome Takes back. Takes us into a, another thanks, interesting right. area, another interesting fish. That was just a blast. Oh, you know, barracuda, you can't beat them. I'm just glad that we decided to troll back. We weren't gonna, we're just gonna stick to the shore and go after the bonefish, but we thought, well, let's get out and try the barracuda, and I'm glad we did. Uh, well, the big thing about barracuda is I wanted to show everybody how Neanderthal they look, with those big teeth, and, and they just peel off line. They just scream out, awesome. <laughs> They're a lot of fun. Yeah. This whole island is a lot of fun here. It's Little Corn Island, Casa Guana. If you want to come here and bring your adventure here, you want to give Steve a call at, uh, we're at Little Fort, I guess, in the wintertime? Little Fort Flying Tackle, that's right. But you're down here, but somebody gets stuck back there answering the phones. <laughs> <Dolly>. <laughs> but it is a lot of fun. It's yeah. a great place to come bring your adventure. Make sure, though, when you do, you take care. And conserve our waters. Only take what you need. We're taking that barracuda and we're eating them tonight. We need. <laughs> well, it is the staple on the island, is barracuda, yeah. so we're going to staple ourselves tonight. Right on. <laughs> See you next time. Well, we take you sport fishing on the fly. All right. Right on. That Thanks was a lot again. of fun. A blast, eh? <laughs>